Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatics Global Customer Support Team. So in this video, we'll see unconnected lookup in Power Center. The main agenda of this video is I will directly start with the demo. So while doing the demo only, I will talk about the points. Let's start with the demo. Now we can see. So this is my source. So we can see product ID, product name, product quantity. So this example we have already taken in the connected lookup. Okay. So the same example I'm going to implement in the unconnected lookup. So basically what we are trying to achieve here is we have a product ID, product name, product quantity, and this is my lookup table. Okay. So now I'm going to look for the product ID in the lookup. So when the product IDs are matching in the lookup, then I need to get the location of the product where it where it is going to manufacture. So that is my scenario. And we can see, so this is my target table. So let me just show you the target table. So this is my target table and we can see, so the target is empty. So product ID, product name, product quantity, and I need to get the location. Name. Now we can see, so this is my source. I have already imported and this is my target. So uh, lookup, so I have just imported. So we need to go to transformation lookup and I have just imported the lookup table as well. Okay. Now. So basically, so I need to get the product ID from the source. Okay. So I need to compare the product ID. So the condition I will give like this and product ID of uh, lookup is equal to product ID input product ID, whatever we are passing. Then if it is equal, then we are going to uh, pass the location name to the target. This is how we usually do in the connected lookup. Okay. But now we are going to deal with, so no, no, now we are going to deal with unconnected lookup. Okay. So unconnected lookup means we should not connect anything to the lookup so lookup will be uh, is not connected to any data flow okay now so if you see here then how we will pass the product id so we are not connecting anything how we will pass the product id now the reason uh, how we need to pass we need to call we need to pass from the source qualifier or from any other transformation from source qualifier it is difficult to uh, call any uh, it is difficult to pass the product id okay so for that i am just simply taking one expression transformation now we can see how I'm going to call. So I'm going to pass this to here and expression. So take one expression with, so we are going to get location name, output location name. Those, this is a string. I'm just going to keep 255 in the string and output port. Now here, what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to call that lookup indirectly from here. Okay. So the syntax to call is colon LKP. This is a standard syntax we need to follow. And we can see here. So this is a lookup, okay? So L1 is a lookup. We are going to call L1 dot, so so LKP, L1 dot. So then we need to pass the column names. So in order to, uh, no, LKP dot L1, sorry. LKP dot L1. So this is a lookup name, okay? Now we need to pass the column. So what is a column? PID is a column that we are going to pass, okay? So PID means that we are getting from the source that we are indirectly passing. So expression parts to successfully if you see. Now click OK. Now apply. OK. Now if you see here in the lookup, so there will be written port. So as I already told in the connected lookup, so written port will be used in the unconnected. So now what is the written port? Location name we are going to return. OK. So this PID instead of passing from the source, what we are doing, we are just simply calling from the other transformation, which is an expression. So if you see PID, so this is a source PID only, I'm just calling. Okay. Now after returning, so this is a return. So location name, if you see location name is a return port. That means to this O underscore location name, the return location name will get written. Okay. So that means it is like a function in Java. So when you call something, so then function will return something. So function is also, will also return only one value. In the same way, lookup here will also return only one return port, one port only. So if you just check this, it will be unchecked. So that means only one port will get returned. Okay. Now here location name I got. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass to target. Now let me save this. Now you can see it is valid. Okay. So lookup transformation condition field PAD is uncorrected. That is fine. That is just a warning. Now we can see. So this is valid. Okay. Now we can see in the condition. So this is the same condition PAD is equal to PAD1. Okay. Now what we need to get, we need to get the output location name from this lookup. Now we can see this is output data that got generated for the target table. Okay. Now we can see, so this is a source and this is the lookup table. And we, as we know, the, in the, in the connected lookup we have talked about. So lookup performs always left order join. 
now left to right means all the records from left to table so you can see all the records we got from left to table and only matching records from the right table so you can see delhi rajasthan pune delhi delhi okay so only 1 2 3 8 are are found in the lookup so those delhi rajasthan pune delhi we got and 9 10 we didn't get in the lookup table but it is present in the source table as it is left to right we got from the left table and remaining values as null so this is how lookup transfer unconnected lookup works now you may have a doubt like uh, so the same uh, whatever the connected lookup we are performing we are just removing the connection and we are uh, simply calling uh, one function from the expression or any other transformation to the lookup and we are using so now what is the main use of unconnected lookup so we can simply use connected lookup why again and again unconnected lookup so if you carefully observe so unconnected lookup we are not passing any like any specific column we are just calling from the expression okay so in this way for example you have uh, here we are calling pid so product id we are we are call, we are passing from the expression okay consider you have another source which is a lokesh uh, which is something employee id okay so you wanted to check the employee id in the lookup okay lookup table now so instead of using one more lookup if it is connected lookup then what you need to do you need to pass this pid to this lookup and also again you have to take one more source which is an employee id and you have to take one more lookup and you have to pass that uh, employee id to the uh, lookup to in order to check the employee id condition but here with unconnected lookup with only one lookup in the expression what i can do i can take a source employee and i can simply pass to the expression employee id and here what i can do i can create one more output column like o underscore employee uh, employee so i i just need to get employee location okay so here what i can do i can simply do colon lkp so dot i can call the same lookup l1 same lookup i can call by passing employee id okay so so by passing employee id so in this way with one lookup only i am just performing n number of lookups n number of conditions i am going to check so in the lookup what we are going to do we are going to get the employee id as well so in the same table and here we can add employee id is equal to employee id one okay so that is the main use of unconnected lookup so if you want to check the if you want to use the same column so when you want to check uh, for uh, condition for a different columns that means pre id product id and employee id and the department id to the same lookup so when you want to check the condition by passing a different column to the same lookup then better we can use unconnected lookup instead of using three three or four lookups which increases the catchy and which increases the performance we can use an unconnected lookup simply so that is a use case of unconnected and one more thing like in unconnected lookup as i already told in the previous video there will be only static lookup so static catch will be there there will be no dynamic catch so you might have a doubt why the dynamic catch is not there because so in the dynamic catch in the previous video so how dynamic catch work so it will first insert the record into the catch or update the record into the catch fine and then it will load into the target it will load or insert it will insert or update into the target table okay now in unconnected when you see we are going to call n number of times from any transformation because we are we don't have a single flow like connected we have uh, n number of flows where we can call in the expression we can call so multiple times we are going to call so when you are calling multiple times then we cannot guarantee the insert into the lookup uh, catchy and update into the lookup catchy so that's why we don't have a dynamic lookup concept in uh, unconnected we have only static lookup concept now for the references you can go through this unconnected lookup which is like it will be very useful you can see the syntax uh, colon lkp so how we need to call the lookup and also you can check, check our info support channel you can give your feedback at support video setting permit.com now thank you for watching this video